Right, we're here with Derek J. Wyatt. Uh, oh, how are you? You want to uh, join the convention? Yes, I'm having a good time. So how did you first get involved in Transformers? Uh, well, I've, I've been collecting Transformers since I was about 12. You know, I was a fan of the original show. And uh, I got involved with, with Transformers Animated through uh, my friend and, and producer, now president of Warner Brothers, Sam Register. He came to me and, and offered me the job. And not knowing that I was a Transformers fan, so I got I got the job with him. And, you know, that, that the rest is history, I guess. Uh, when animated was first, when the images of animated was first leaked, there was a lot of um, well, I don't want to use hatred as a word, but there was <laughs> there was a lot of discussion about it. W yeah. What were you feeling at well, the time? You know, the the first images that got leaked were some Hasbro style guide art that wasn't that even and it, you know us working on the show, we weren't particularly fond of it, so it. It was. Um, I think that you know, as, and I would watch the kind of evolution of the comments as as more images came out, and you know, next the poster came out, which was a little more dynamic and and uh, better drawn in, in some ways. And I think you know that that swayed some people. Then when we showed the footage at at Comic Con, people kind of went nuts, and yeah. and the, and they showed stuff at BotCon. I remember you know watching the reaction to that. And it, it was it was a. I think it was a much quicker turnover than we had on Teen Titans where it took people yeah. like almost a season to get to get into it where by the first episode we had I think we had most of the fandom. I actually really enjoyed Teen yeah. Titans. Uh, I, was, I was a Teen Titan fan style. Yeah, that was, it was a really fun show yeah. to work on too. Um, can you tell us anything about what would have happened in Series 4? Well, we, um, we had started, uh, Marty had started working on the, uh, the first uh, story arc for the season opener, that was a three-part episode. We we're going to call the Trial of Megatron. Okay. So, so that was you know after after they were brought back, the Decepticons were to be put on trial. There was supposed to be a, a Sentinel was was making his move to to be to move from acting Magnus to permanent Magnus. And meanwhile, there's kind of a popular support building for Optimus since yeah. he brought you know he actually captured Megatron. And, uh, so other than that, we had we had. Um, we wanted to delve into Black Arachnia's origin and of how she came to work with Megatron and the Decepticons, yeah. and and her role in in uh, Blitzwing's past and how he became a Triple Changer. Yeah. Um, and we had plans to hopefully finally finish off the Constructicons and do Devastator, yeah. and then finish the other doing the other Dinobots. So there, there would have been a Devastator. So yeah, been. so we would have you know. Devastator plus. So how many parts would have been in the Death Star? Uh, I'm not exactly sure. We didn't we didn't quite get that far working it out. There was um, we're definitely going to add at least two more Constructicons, and then there was sort of a a secondary element that was part of Devastator unwillingly. So uh, I also I wanted to add. Uh, I think I wanted to have six Dinobots total. So I wanted, and then I wanted them to fight to the death. So who would those Dinobots have been then? Well, with the Sludge and the other Snarl, and then uh, uh, a Veloci Velociraptor type, honorable, you know, Dinobot. Yeah, yeah Dinobot character. Okay. So were you disappointed when you animated with Hansel? Oh yeah, it was. I mean, we we were disappointed because we were we were going along like it was it was going to happen, and, and uh, I think Hasbro really wanted to do a fourth season to really finish off. The, the series and uh, we were moving ahead like it was happening. We just we started working on Marauder Megatron and the Power Master Prime yeah. and, and some other uh, uh, characters and story story ideas. So it was it was sad, but in, in a way, um, you know, I'm glad we got to do what we did and we got, at least we got to go out on a high note. Yeah. Uh, so which is your favorite character out of all the characters? Of all time, my, my favorite character is Swindle. Yeah. He's my, I've had, you I, know, I, I, must have, I, I was never a fan of Swindle yeah. until I saw the anime. Really? So he, he, he was absolutely yeah. brilliant. I, I had that stupid, you know, block toy with, yeah. the, with the cool head, you know, and that was my favorite favorite character, uh, even when I was a kid. So he's, he's always my favorite, and I I really wanted to to, uh, to put him in the show. No one else cared because, you know, it was just, a, you know, some throwaway limb, he was a foot or whatever. But I was really adamant about getting him in the show. And, yeah. And uh, after after he was in the show, everybody was really happy that he was. We got Fred Willard and everything. Else. Yeah. So the IDW ongoing, they brought Swindling just afterwards. Yeah. And um, it was very much yeah. like the animated I, character. I love him getting more exposure, and hopefully that means more toys, you know.
Um, so what are you working on at the moment then? I'm working on uh, Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated for car uh, it's at Warner Brothers for Cartoon Network. Um, uh, it's a it's kind of it's kind of the same thing where I, I got to redesign the whole cast of Scooby-Doo yeah. and and uh, um, we we went really retro with it though. We have all these these catalogs from 1969 and yeah. actually using fashion out of the, of those catalogs and it's a really fun show and uh, it's been another. You know, kind of nostalgic dream come true for me to work on. Would you like to work on Transformers again? Though? Uh, yeah, probably if I had the opportunity, I would. Yeah. Alright, you got any questions? Um, no. No? Okay, well, that's going to wrap it up. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks. Alright, thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click on the like button and leave us a comment below. Also, spare a moment to share this video on Twitter, Facebook, and all your social media pages. To get updates on all of our latest videos delivered straight to your inbox, subscribe now using the link on the screen.